I've been getting questions on the Hutch Mountain generator conversion kit for propane. Very easy to do. On this side you have a two regulators. One is a high pressure regulator followed by a low pressure regulator, on demand regulator, vacuum regulator, whatever you want to call it. That's the low pressure side. Quick disconnect fittings right here to get onto the tank or from the tank to the generator. Um, everything was built real nice, came already pre-assembled, uh, sealed, everything tuned, ready to go. Here's your load block on top here, adjustment. And uh, pretty much the only thing I had to do was put this quick disconnect on the generator, run that line through, and up to the carburetor. So all you're doing is pulling off the air filter, the bolts for the carburetor, sliding it out, putting in this special gasket. Very nice. Right here, I don't know if you can see that. Right up in here. And that's about all there is to the inside of the generator for the mods. Uh, one more thing, this uh, engine kill switch was put in. You need that because this electrically will kill the engine. If you're still feeding fuel to it, uh, or propane to it, it's going to keep going unless you turn off the propane tank. So by putting in this kill switch, you can kill it from here. So I'm going to show you, give you a demo on how to run this thing up now. Okay, the cover was put back on. Everything's connected. Just going to prime it a couple times here. And... Let's see, we'll start here. That quick, a couple bulbs, and we're going. Okay, comes with this switch. The kit comes with this switch. All you're doing is unplugging a couple wires in there, plugging it back in. You're relabeling the original label, which is really nice. So if you forget what you're doing, coming you don't use the generator every day, you want to make sure that you're in a propane storage mode. And that's about all there is to it. Generator is useless if you don't have fuel. My biggest problem was when I need it, it's too late. That means I've lost power and I've got to run out and get some fuel. Or keep gas on standby, which only lasts a few months. And then you're having to play with cycling it and keeping liquid fuel around. So this propane option, I should have done it years ago. Um, this particular kit by Hutch Mountain, I think, is the best one I've seen so far. Really like it. It also can run on gas. You haven't disabled anything on the generator, so it will run in the gas, uh, regular liquid gas. Also, you can run this thing through natural gas, which is uh, beauty. Anyway, just thought I'd share that.